Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI crude oil. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up around 25% on the one-hour chart. We were oversold yesterday, and we're starting to approach to positive MACD as for the four-hour chart. We are still nearing oversold RSI, and we may see a slight conver convergence on the 4-hour MACD. And on the daily chart, we were seeing a convergence over the previous weeks. Now we see a divergence due to volatility the last, last two days with the May contract turning negative. And yesterday, we had the closing of the May contract so we do see volatility still in play and what's concerning is the RSI on the daily chart has not hit oversold RSI yet so there may be still downward pressure and as for support there's not there's no reliable support that I could point to but for resistance there is resistance around the nine day moving average this blue line and that coincides with previous support levels around a price of $19.50 and since we're below support that now act as our resistance and if we were to head up higher and hit that resistance that price level is roughly around 35% to the upside again there's no support because at the moment it's quite volatile we could possibly break below 650 and let's just head to the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. Again, this model is now available in the link below. So as the days progress, we have a 50% chance for WTI crude oil to increase between 0 and 8%. And on the extreme case, we have a 50% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between negative 16% to negative 25% reason why we have a 50-50 split, we only have one sample to show it on and do take that into consideration, there's only one model to base it on. So let's just head back to the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So the model that we're using most of the information on is September 17, 2018, or September 17, 2008 to December 11, 2008. So how did I find this trend? This is the trend that is the best overlap to the current trend. Right here we have the current trend and the purple line is the 2008 trend. So let's compare the two trends. So right here we have the current trend and below is the 2008 trend. So let's begin to compare the both charts. So we start off at the middle Bollinger Band, proceeded to dip lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band, revert back to the mean to touch the middle Bollinger Band, and once more dip down to the bottom Bollinger Band. And now the trend in question, we start off at the middle Bollinger Band, proceed to fall lower to the bottom Bollinger Band, see an attempt to revert back to the mean, however, didn't quite touch it yet, so it failed and continued to dip lower. So let's compare the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this is the model that we're basing one model on. So it's only one model, and that is why it's 50%. And this 50% is a general rule that it may head higher between 1% to, say, 4% in the next coming days. So let's just examine the technical technical performance of each model the model that we're currently in is around 330 percent down from monthly high zero percent from monthly low negative 37 percent from 10 simple moving average down 42 percent from 20 simple moving average and down 62 percent from 50 simple moving average and now let's compare that to the trend that we just examined it is down 126% from monthly high, up 11% from monthly low, up 
3.5% from 10 simple moving average, down 5% from 20 simple moving average, and down 25% from 50 simple moving average. One consideration to note is that there is a technical difference on the 10 simple moving average is on positive 10 simple moving average compare that to negative 37 percent down and one thing to note on the current trend that we're at we are much further from the monthly high from 300 percent down to 100 percent down and do take these technical technical performance and to consideration there is technical differences between these two trends so again these models are now available in the link below so do check it out if you enjoyed this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching